we come to the final standard number six in the area of program accreditation. And this is a standard that has to do with qualification, nomenclature, and credits. Potentially, this is the most difficult and tricky standard to, uh, to put into place at an international level because there's such a difference in different continents, even from country to country oftentimes, um, in terms of uh, what a qualification is, what it means, what it's called, uh, and even how you count credits. So what we're asking for in this particular standard is that institutions follow inter international recognized qualification nomenclature and credit counting mm -hmm. systems. Again, a mouthful. I got ahead of myself earlier in our conversation uh, by talking about the Bologna, the uh, Carnegie system in the United States and the British system of credit counting. But those are the kinds of systems that need to be understood across the world and when they're used to be properly uh, used and to be accounted for. Yeah, we're, we're working on this as an ISET community uh, as part of the ongoing conversation to actually um, enhance the uh, transferability of degrees and the ability of students uh, to know exactly uh, what is an orange in different countries and what an apple is in different countries and uh, so what different degrees can mean and what different words mean. So um, in terms of nomenclature, um, to actually have as a school, the, the quality and awareness of what different degrees can be called in different parts of the world. And then, and then to decide, actually, uh, in our country, this is the best nomenclature for a particular degree. And, uh, and at the same time, with that, to then give students a document, and we discussed this in the graduation and certification um, standard, that students have a document that in a sense translates. It gives a, a comparability certificate for what, so if you have a, you know, BA in theology or BA honors or an MTH or an MPhil or, or you know, all, all of the different names that circulate in, um, in theological education, what this actually means internationally. So uh, we feel this is a really uh, critical contribution that this particular roadmap, the Road Rome, Rome Roadmap, can make uh, to international theological education is to help schools uh, in terms of nomenclature and also the credit counting, which Paul mentioned, uh, many different ways to count credits and so to have uh, comparability tables uh, so we can actually compare and read our degrees uh, to each other across continents and different systems. We're, we're not looking for one size fits all, are we? No, absolutely not. Uh, uh, we need to be sensitive to context. We have nine regions in ISET, very different educational systems often, and so we're trying to find the common denominators in all of these principles and uh, methodologies and applications. It's, it's quite a task. But it's rather rather enjoyable, I must say. Yeah, we're not alone. Uh, it's not just theological education no. that's doing this. I mean, higher education, uh, the world is getting smaller and smaller through globalization. So uh, these issues that we're discussing are actually part of a, of a broader discussion that's happening in higher education over qualification, nomenclature, and credits. So standard number six in quality theological education is to have uh, good quality procedures relating to nomenclature and credit counting.